So we just made it to Dallas for our flight. We flew from Houston to Dallas and now we're flying from Dallas straight to Tokyo. Walk around, stretch our legs, not only sit down because we're about to be on a flight for like 12 or 13 hours. So um, just trying to, you know, walk around, drink lots of water. Yeah, we're really excited and we're going to be landing in Tokyo um, around 2 o'clock. Wednesday, which is like so we're there 14 hours I think ahead of us at the hotel. We're gonna shower, kind of clean up, and then we're going to a really cool sushi place um, for our first night for dinner in a really fun area. Something that's gonna be like lively and fun to keep us from getting tired or you know wanting to fall asleep. We're gonna try and get on Tokyo time ASAP because we will be waking up every morning with a full day ahead of us. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys really quick what all I have in my carry on. And I actually love the bag that I'm using. Here, I'll show you. This is the bag. And it's actually my sister's. Um, she let me borrow it. What's so cool about this bag, and it is, I don't even know how you say the brand of it. I think here's a little pendulum. It's like the Low and Sons or something. I'll link it below. But anyways, um, what's great about it is it just has like so many pockets. So this front pocket, um, I honestly didn't even utilize this one that much. Uh, I mean, I'm just putting my phone in, um, like some deodorant and like quick and easy stuff in there. But mainly what's really cool about it is these is the main inside area. So this is actually what I'm keeping my camera in. So I have that. Um, I used one of these little jewelry like center things to put my chargers, my small like iPhone headphones and stuff like that in. And then um, in here I have just like concealer, hand, um, sanitizer, Advil. Like you know all that like basic stuff, mascara, my like basic makeup stuff. Uh, these are little pouches right here are really cool. So I have like a pen here, my little like smaller wallet. Um, tissues, uh, sanitizer wipes. I have actually brought like this little Polaroid camera, so I have that in here. I have an extra pair of clothes down here. This is my long shot bag, which is like another purse that I it folds up really small. Obviously, my passport's in here. I need to put that in this center pocket, which in here I also have our like Mophie portable charger, sunglasses. Um, and then this back pocket, I have a book, and then our Bose noise canceling headphones. So it's really easy to carry, and it's like so many pockets and just really convenient. So thanks to my sister for letting me borrow it.
So coming out of the Tokyo airport into the train station was interesting. Buying tickets, confusing, harder than you would think. Yeah, but we figured it out. Round trip tickets, about to get on a car. Okay, bye. Car seven, row two. Hey guys, so we're here in Tokyo. This is our first full day. The hotel gave us these last night um, with little slippers for our turn down. And Andrew went to um, go downstairs just to get us a latte. We're gonna go to a really cool breakfast place, but they don't open till 10, so we are gonna need some coffee before then. But yesterday we landed here in Tokyo at 2 p.m. and um, we were so tired. We then had to take a train from the hotel, which was pretty complicated, um, but we had to take a train from Port Island to um, to Tokyo, which is about an hour. And then from there, like get off the train, we took the subway, which I do not recommend trying to figure out how to use the subway system here when you have your suitcase. Um, but I recommend an Uber, but we did figure it out and we got here to our hotel, which is beautiful. I'm obsessed, but we were so tired. We showered and knew that we needed to stay awake. So we went to Genki Sushi, which was super fun. It comes out, like you order it, instead of like the conveyor belt sushi where like it's just kind of going around and you just pick something that's already been made. Like they make it for you and it comes like on a little tray shooting out and you order it on a little iPad and a little doorbell rings. It's super cute. We went there and then went and got some ice cream and walked around like to force ourselves to stay up. And then we got back to the hotel and we ended up going to bed shortly after nine o'clock. And then we slept till, I woke up at like 4 a.m. But then we decided to keep sleeping and then we ended up waking up around 6.30 but not pulling ourselves out of bed till like seven, seven or, it's like, I don't even know what time it is right now. Oh, we're super excited. Let me show you guys around the room a little bit. It's totally trash, but we just got here and totally like moved in. So the rooms here, we're staying at the Tokyo Prince Gallery Hotel and it's in Chiyoda is like the area of town that we're in. It's beautiful. We love it. It makes for us, especially like last night when we were so tired, we're like, it makes all the difference to come home to a really nice hotel that has like pajamas set out for you and um, thing like that. So let me show y'all around really quick. So where I'm sitting right now looks the city. So it's like this long little thing. Um, and then like it has this great view. And then um, over here is like our trashed bed, but um, it's super, the bed was super comfortable. And um, I was showing this on my Insta story, but this hotel is literally so high tech. This is the TV, it looks kind of like glass. And then these are the little macaroons they gave us last night, which are super cute. I wasn't gonna show y'all. Oh, this here. The, so this is like on your bedside and like it literally controls like everything in this hotel room. So well, I think Andrew just got back with our coffees. Oh, do you end up going to Starbucks? Mm -hmm. Oh, and this is the bathroom. It's like kind of trashed because we've been using it obviously, but the shower is so cool. It's almost like its own room. Hope this doesn't fog up my lens because he just took a shower, but. It's like its own room in the bathtub's here, but you can like see through. But the cool part is, is you can like frost the bathroom screen like that. I like think it's weird I'm showing you all the toilet, but literally, see it just opens on its own. It's so high tech. Um, the seat is always warmed 
but these are like all the buttons. It's like so crazy. I was like getting ready. Something busted in my suitcase yesterday, which is why a bunch of my clothes are over there. And I have a bunch of stuff like hanging in here, like drying. Just got a little bit on some of my stuff, but anyway, so that is the tour of our hotel room. Here is like the thing that they, I don't know if we get to keep these, but I think it's so neat that they even just like left these out for us. So that's the tour. Really? Your, you our, uh, really? Your iced coffee obsessed. Oh, that's coffee. This is actually an iced coffee. I don't know how to order an iced coffee. Thanks for going to get it. You're welcome. So what'd you get me? Is it a vanilla latte? Mm -hmm. Did they have almond or coconut milk? Uh, 